uh, 2002, West Nile virus came into Fairfax County with a bang. Had 13 human cases with one fatality. It's a viral disease that was first discovered in Uganda in 1937. And it came into the United States in the late 1990s. And it just swept across the country at an alarming speed. And it's a disease of birds. But when man gets into the cycle, then you have uh, the mosquito transmitting the virus to man. 80% of the people have no symptoms whatsoever. 20% have West Nile fever. About 1% of this 20% will develop a neurological infection, which is either a meningitis or encephalitis, and about 10% of that 1%, uh, it's fatal. Since it came in, it is the most important and it's the most uh, widespread viral disease that mosquitoes transmit in the United States. We have a surveillance program in Fairfax County. We set out about 200 traps every week. This is a CDC light trap and it, uh, you have uh, dry ice in that container and it's got two holes on the top and CO2 comes out of the holes, uh, which is what we breathe out. And then the trap is activated by a battery, a six volt battery. And in the trap itself, if you tilt it a little bit this way, we'll see it has a, a, a the other way. <laughs> we have a fan inside of it and it has a, a light bulb. And as the mosquitoes get close, they'll get sucked into the collected, yeah, the collected in the unit that Brent's put it on there and tomorrow morning we'll just come and pick it up. And we have put one of the, uh, a plastic bag that goes, all, it's a hollow tube plastic bag, and that just keeps everything dry because once mosquitoes get wet, it's hard to identify them. We have four different kinds of traps that are specific for special mosquitoes, and we collect those mosquitoes, and the day we bring them in, we'll separate them by species, we'll put them in vials, and we'll have them tested with PCR for the virus. This is our mosquito identification lab and what I have here is the collection chamber from one of our gravid traps which is a trap that is used to collect uh, certain types of female mosquitoes that are ready to lay eggs. The reason we like this kind of trap uh, is that it's, it's useful in collecting the types of mosquitoes that can transmit things like West Nile virus. We kill the mosquitoes and then we set them out on these uh, on these petri dishes on these on these lids, and we can go through and separate out the different species that we have. We've already tested about a thousand samples. I'll guess we're somewhere in the realm of ooh, thirty thousand mosquitoes that we have tested this year so far, and we have not found any virus. But we expect to find it either this week or next week. We'll find our first virus in the mosquitoes. The best practice to protect yourself against mosquitoes is to eliminate breeding sites around your house. Eliminate the water around your house. And one of the biggest culprits is that black corrugated pipe that a lot of people use to take the water from their roof gutters to away from the house. These, pro these produce mosquitoes. So what we're telling people to do, we don't tell you to take them out. We tell you to put in a, a, a mosquito uh, dunk in there, which is a, a larva side. It'll kill the mosquito larvae. And you tie it off and you change it once a month. So the best way that you want to do is eliminate anything where mosquitoes can develop around your house. That's number one. Number two, we're a re repellent. We have DEET. We have picaridin. We have oil of lemon eucalyptus. And we have IR3535. These four are um, EPA approved and CDC approved, so we approve them as well. A lot of people say, which is the best one? The best insect repellent that you can use is the one that you will wear. If you have any questions, go to our website and uh, there's a place you can send us email. You can ask us questions all the times, uh, anytime you want to, any question. And if we don't know the answer, we'll tell you where you can probably find the answer. Microworld video is available online at microworld.org. It's also available as a free video podcast. 
through iTunes. Subscribing to Microworld Video is easy. Open iTunes on your computer, go to the iTunes Music Store, and type in Microworld in the search box in the top right. Click Enter. iTunes will locate Microworld Video for you. To subscribe, simply click the subscribe button. Now, Microworld Video will automatically download as new episodes are produced. To watch, highlight the episode, and then click play. It's that easy. Thanks for watching.